this video, I'm gonna show you my farmer's market haul and our grocery store haul and our meal plan for this week. Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Erica Lucas and I share videos about making life simple. And in this video, I'm going to show you my simple meal plan, my journal that I'm currently starting to centralize everything into, probably speaks to the changes of my minimalism and my minimalist habits over the last year that I'm starting to feed all of my brain into one journal instead of many journals. Journaling is a hobby of mine. I really, really enjoy it. So I have a lot of the goodies that goes along with that. And I have a lot of journals and I really enjoy t spending time creating something on paper. So I have been consolidating into this Archer and Olive A5 sized journal. The paper is fantastic. There's no bleed through. It's nice thick paper and it holds up to all of my highlighters and my markers and my pens and I can use both sides of the paper and it doesn't show through. In here I've got my meal plan for each week. I also have my weekly layouts and how I keep track of all my to-dos and my tasks and my appointments and all the good stuff that my brain can't hold on to anymore. I use this. This is like a second brain for me. So I've written in my journal the meal plan for the week. I've made a little dot next to anything I think I might be able to get from the farmer's market. And then I printed the meal plan for the week. I put it in our dining room on this little farmhouse stand. I went to the farmer's market here in Annapolis and it was great. There were a lot of booths set up. I was really pleased with the size of it. It was heavily trafficked, which was concerning for me in these pandemic days, but everyone was wearing masks and I kept my distance. And uh, it was really nice to talk to some local farmers and some local people and get a better understanding of the area just by walking up and down the sections at the farmer's market. I ended up coming away with a really good haul. This stand at the farmer's market had microgreens. So I bought the Leeks microgreens for our potato and leek soup this week. And she said to just put them on a plate and keep the bottom uh, with water and it should keep for a whole week. So I bought coffee grounds from a local roaster, peppers, onions, and the leeks. I grabbed a bag of Italian flat leaf parsley and the farmer actually invited us to come out to the farm, which was cool. And then a pound of ground beef, corn, seedless watermelon, and then this adorable wooden serving tray from a woodworking booth at the farmer's market. All from the grocery store, these are the bags that I use. And then these as well. I spent 268, 33. But I also got some things that were on my list. So on my list is this for the week. My son, my oldest son loves salmon. So he asked for it for lunch for himself one day. He's the only one that eats salmon. <laughs> so this was just like a special purchase. These were on sale, like a deep sale. So I got three because I can freeze them. We always end up using bacon for something. I got extra meat. I bought two of these because they were on sale. One for the freezer and one for dinner tomorrow night. This past week, I ran out of meat and fresh vegetables. So by hitting the farmer's market in combination with the grocery store, I'm hoping to not run out of fresh vegetables again this week. Um, we're gonna have deli sandwiches one day. Eggs are a standard. I bought these as a treat to go with, we're having sandwiches twice for lunch this week. And I bought, I bought these as a treat to have with it. Yogurts are a standby snack for us. And I like to get the Greek yogurt so they get a shot of protein when they snack. These are for me. I love these things. They're so delicious. 
Um, this is for my son and my husband, special request. And then I needed red potatoes and russet potatoes for two recipes this week. <laughs> I'm hoping gold potatoes are a common ground between those two recipes because I didn't want to get a bag of red and a bag of russet. So I got a bag of gold that I'm gonna make work in both recipes. Peanut butter, this is for a recipe. We did not have any mayo and I wanna make egg salad and it's also good for sandwiches this week. So I had to buy one. Another thing I had to stock on was a white balsamic vinegar for one of the recipes this week. So normally you wouldn't have to buy this if I'd already had it. And now the stuff that was not on my list. <laughs> my kid, my oldest loves these crackers as a snack. So I got those. What is this? That was a Lego. These are my snacks. They're really good. Um, these were on crazy sale. And these are always like a good go-to after swimming. This is for my husband because he starts work this week. Not that he needs it, but it's always nice to have when you meet new people. <laughs> I bought a ladle. Oh my gosh, I did it. I finally bought a ladle. It was a two buy two get one situation for this brand. So I got a cooking tray and then I got this ladle and we need a uh, rolling pin. We didn't have a rolling pin. So my husband asked, he's like, we really need a ladle. Like we don't have to use the one cup scooper. <laughs> so I broke down and bought a ladle. My daughter asked to make cookies this week. So we're gonna do that. I bought this to go with egg salad sandwiches for myself. I also bought this graham cracker pie. And then I bought this to keep in the freezer as backups. You know, I mean, you can never have enough whipped cream, so. Um, and then I bought this for a snack for the kids and then this for the burgers and this we didn't have. So these, I mean, the pickles, the barbecue, the mayo and the vinegar, normally I'd have in stock, but we're just starting to reestablish our stock here, our pantry. Oh, and then of course, delicious cookies. And we were out of flour, so I had to stock up on that. So all told came to $268. Here's the pan. So this is what we would cook bacon on. It was a cheap sheet. And then we put the rack on and then the bacon on top. So the grease drains down and we bake it in the oven. It pretty much ruins the pan after a bunch of uses. So I don't use my regular cooking sheet for cooking all the other things. I only use this one for bacon. So we needed a new one. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click like below. And if you want to see more, click subscribe. Here's the latest video.